Hello friends, welcome to Text Study Cell. In this video, we will discuss the basic of solar panel like what are the different type of solar panel available in the market, the different rating of the solar panel you should know before purchasing a solar panel and we will also do some practical experiment to understand some important rating of the solar panel. I would like to request you to watch complete video as I have covered some important point regarding the solar panel and please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the upcoming videos. So let's get started. Before that I would like to thank you Loom Solar for sending me this 20 watt solar panel. Loom Solar is an Indian manufacturer of the wide range of solar panel from 10 watt to 340 watt both in mono and polycrystalline solar panel. You can buy their product from their website www.loomsolar.com or you can purchase from the Amazon India. Both the link given in the description. And Loom Solar also receives some certificate from the different organization for their quality product. For any query related to setup installation of solar panel, you can directly contact to Loom Solar at this number. So let's quickly unbox this solar panel. As you can see they pack very well. So there is very less chance to damage the solar panel during the transit. Here you can see the Loom Solar logo on this panel and in the back side you have to connect the positive and the negative wire which should be connected with the solar charge controller and here they give a small warranty card you can see Loom Solar will give you 25 year warranty now if I talk about the build quality of the solar panel you can see this frame is made of aluminium and on the top they have provided a hard glass cover which will protect the solar cell from any damage and on the back we have to connect the positive and the negative wire at these two terminal In this panel there is 36 cell in series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and another 18 cell is here. So total 36 cell in series. Now each cell can produce 0.5 to 0.6 volt when we place this panel under the direct sunlight. So here as you can see total 36 cell connected in series for this panel. So total voltage output will be 36 multiplied by 0 0.06 which is 21 volt at no load condition. If we connect any load with this panel then we should get at least 0.5 volt output from the each cell. So total voltage output from this 36 cell will be 36 multiplied with 0.5 which is 18 volt. So we should get minimum 18 volt output when we connect any load to this panel and the current from the each cell will depend on the total area of the cell. If we increase the area amount of the current will be increased if we decrease the area of the cell then the current will be decreased. And this solar panel is a polycrystalline solar panel. I can see the polycrystalline cell at the solar panel. And in the box they have also mentioned 20 watt polycrystalline solar panel. So there are mainly two type of solar panel monocrystalline and polycrystalline. To identify the monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar cell you have to look the corner of the cell. As you can see in the screen for the monocrystalline cell the corner is curved but the polycrystalline cell the corner is rectangular. And also the color of the monocrystalline is darker than the polycrystalline. Thus you can easily identify whether the cell is monocrystalline or polycrystalline. The monocrystalline solar panel is slightly efficient than the polycrystalline solar panel. So monocrystalline solar panel can generate the sufficient voltage during the winter season or the low sunlight. But if you use the polycrystalline solar panel to get the sufficient voltage, you have to place this panel under the bright sunlight. Now if we compare the cost of these two monocrystalline and polycrystalline panel, monocrystalline panel is much costlier than the polycrystalline panel. So if you have always bright sunlight available then you can go for this polycrystalline solar panel but if there is lack of sunlight or during the winter season 
you have to use mono crystalline solar panel now you can see in this panel the polycrystalline cell and the corner is rectangular so i can easily say this is a polycrystalline solar panel now in the back side you can see they have provide different rating of the solar panel maximum power output maximum power voltage maximum power current short circuit current open circuit voltage now we'll understand this rating from the iv curve and we'll also do some practical experiment now this is the iv curve of the solar cell on the x-axis we have plotted the voltage and on the y-axis we have plotted the current now if i place this solar panel under the bright sunlight and without connecting any load across the positive and the negative terminal of this panel if we measure the voltage we will get the open circuit voltage so you can see that time the current will be zero and the voltage will be maximum so for this panel you can see the rating for the boc or open circuit voltage is 22.5 now if i connect the positive and the negative terminal of the solar panel with a wire then the voltage across the terminal will be zero and the current flowing through the wire will be maximum that time we will get short circuit current for this panel the short circuit current is 1.11 ampere as you can see in the rating thus we can find the open circuit voltage and short circuit current of any solar panel now we will discuss about the maximum power voltage and maximum power current in the iv curve you can see at this point we will get the maximum power from this solar panel so at this point the voltage is vmp which is maximum power voltage for this panel the maximum power voltage is 19.25 and the current at this maximum power point is imp which is 1.04 ampere so if i want to get maximum power from this panel then at that point the voltage will be 19.25 and the current will be 1.04 ampere so that is the maximum power voltage and maximum power current and if i plot a pv curve then the curve will look like this the power is maximum at this point and after that the power will decrease and at this level at the current is zero the power will be zero and again for this level as the voltage is zero power is zero as the power is equal to voltage multiplied with current so this is the pv curve and this is the iv curve of the solar cell so now we will do some practical experiment to get this reading from this solar panel for that we need a bright sunlight so let's go to rooftop and do some experiment now here you can see i have connected these two wire across the positive and the negative terminal of the solar panel so that i can measure the voltage and current so now with the help of this multimeter we can measure the voltage and this multimeter will measure the current so as i have connected this multimeter across the two terminal and i have not connected any load across this panel so it's showing open circuit voltage which is 19.9 or 20 volt and the ammeter reading is zero as i have not connected any load so no current is flowing across the terminal so now we will measure the short circuit current for that i will connect the two terminal and you will see the voltage reading will be zero after connecting these two terminal and it's showing the ampere reading which is 0.9 or 0.89 now we will connect our resistance across the terminal as a load and observe the voltage and current here you can see after connecting this 100 ohm resistor the voltage across the terminal is 19.3 and the current is 0.2 ampere so we have measured the open circuit voltage and short circuit current and the voltage and current after connecting a load across the panel we have measured the open circuit voltage and short circuit current in the morning when the sunlight was moderate as the output of the solar panel depend on the intensity of the sunlight so i am satisfied with this reading which i have measured in this video we have covered very basic of the solar panel 
in the upcoming video we will connect the solar panel with the battery through our solar charge controller so that time we will discuss in details with different parameter and how to connect the solar panel please do subscribe to get notified for the upcoming videos and give us thumbs up if you like the video and share it with your friends thank you for watching have a great day